And then it, and then it becomes an uh, AMSR. Yes, you yes, know. exactly, exactly. Or uh, ASMR. Or, or that, ASMR. one of the two. ASMR? Asthma. Asthma? ASMR. ASMR. ASMR, I mean. Not, not AMSR. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah. I'm here with Silverstone Pickups. Bye. Wonderful, legendary indie band who are here right now banging a knife on the table and now pointing it at me. <laughs> and oh, it really? Because the angle was a little bit, yeah, yeah. a little bit lower. I mean, it is a little threatening. It's a little bit, a little bit. It doesn't look like the sharpest knife. But, and now. Yeah, me? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Wait, take the video away because the audio only is going to work. Oh, very right. true. Yeah, perfect. Oh, you're looking over there. You're looking over there, right? <laughs> oh, and no. Oh, perfect. God. Oh, oh, I'm doing oh, it. oh no. Perfectly. Oh, oh I perfectly. Wow, that's did. crazy. Uh, How'd you do that? Lesson. That's incredible. Yeah. All the other times bands have done that, they've, they've stabbed me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm impressed. Sorry, yeah. I was focused on myself. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> naturally. Yeah. Um, so I'm here with the Silvers and Pickups. We're backstage at Webster Hall right now. They're about to play a show here. Yeah. Um, and. First of all, I mean, you guys have a new album out, mm -hmm. and it's awesome. Thanks. It's really cool. Yeah, it's you. got a lot of variety to it, uh, a lot of different types of songs and sounds. Um, and I understand the inspiration from this album, during the pandemic, you kind of had little rough sketches of it. And then, if I'm not wrong, from my Wikipedia research, um, <laughs> you showed pieces of it to Butch Vig, who has produced your previous Is that stuff. Is already on Wikipedia? It, it does say that, that. that. yeah. What's that on there? Did we I wonder. something on Wikipedia? I, I guess you could, right? Yeah, I think technically. Anyone? Anyone. Like you, have to, you have to become like an editor, right? And there's like a... I've never looked at Wikipedia, or I've looked at Wikipedia, editor. but never looked at the bands one. And I'm just curious to like, it's funny that when you, like you're going along your life and you're just doing stuff, and then yeah. someone puts that yeah. on there, <laughs> and types it up like weirdly, where it's probably I'm like, that's funny... an interesting picture to add of us. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. And it's like, yeah, there's so much like very specific stuff too. Like it'd um, be fun to do a biopic or something of... Um, uh, you want to turn that off? Let me see if, that's, if that turns off. Is it a... Is it the fan? Oh, you know what? It's the, it's oh, the refrigerator. Oh, should I plug it? What do I have to do? I have to plug it. You plug it? Yeah, yeah, I got a shot. Yeah, wow, that thing is like... Intense. It wants oh. attention. It's going to keep those cokes cold. Yeah, yeah, well, there's a zero that are in there. <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's like that car that has a personality. Yeah. And that car <laughs> like, is um, called what? Called what? Carrie? What is it called? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen. No, that's What's good. The, uh, okay, yeah. that's not who she's meeting. <laughs> the the Kit? one with um. Not Kit. Yes, Kit has a personality. <laughs> but the, not the one I was thinking. The, the one that gets angry when Carrie he is the one that Star kills it's all the prom it people. Is, it's, it's a C. Christine. 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 Yeah. I wasn't too. Christine. Yeah. Yeah. From the topical movie. Um, <laughs> Christine. Christine. <laughs> Very topical. From 1980. Yeah. Batteries not included. <laughs> <laughs> Came to mind. Yes. Joe, well. you just saved the day. Now it's finally, yeah, now this okay. thing has finally stopped asking for attention. Again. Yeah, perfect. Um, so, what was the process of when you realized this went from uh, some ideas into your next record? I'm just seeing who's going to answer it. Oh, Joe. there we go. Joe. Um, I think it was, uh, yeah, I mean, it was about, what is it, a year into the pandemic? Um, and once everybody had gotten vaccinated, Brian and Butch started getting together at Butch's house because he has a nice studio there. And they, like, put some demos. To, started to put the demos together and then we all kind of came in as as we all got vaccinated and uh it just sort of went from there like usually we would do demos separately and then bring them like all to whoever was doing the record but they we just sort of started from like the demos just sort of morphed into the songs like the same sessions and everything mm. we just kept building on it from there um but yeah that's a good answer yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounds enough. about right the knife knows <laughs> the knife knows <laughs> Um, hey, you're gonna have to put your face ID because I lost my questions. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> she, she wanted to film it on my phone. That's a body's 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 moment. Yeah, the face. The face. Good. Okay. Right. Hey, you gotta put your face on the phone. <laughs> you gotta put. Yeah, exactly. You know my password. Do I? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's oh face. What is it? It's, it's face. F A C E. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, right, is that cool. your cat? That's yeah, that's that your cat. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Adorable. Thank you. 
That's the cat. Oh no, now do you need the face recognition? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. actually, her, her yeah. cat yeah. Has the, is the one with the face, I think. <laughs> so we have to put it in front of the cat at all times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be so <laughs> rad if you did that. It sucks when we're out, though, because and nobody's going to be able to do that. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Chasing your cat trying to answer. <laughs> A lot of cats look pretty similar in their faces, too. You know? He's surprised um, all the different things. Like yeah, any other cat, yeah. Right, let's not be species. How dare, how dare. Exactly. Yeah. Species. <laughs> how, how dare. It's like a snowflake. Every cat has different. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, so once you were actually recording this album and just that, oh, perfect. Um, did you set out to make a, uh, oh, you got an answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that means, that means. Did you set out to make like a quote unquote pandemic album nope. and have themes around like what you were experiencing then? Because I know a lot of artists did it intentionally. No. It I, seems like, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, no. I mean, we just were live that time. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And that's just what... Uh, uh, I, I, you know, it, it was for, the pandemic themed in a way because it was sort of forcing you to be so um, internal, mm. and a, there's a lot of uh, a lot of spelunking going on in the old soul during this time. You know what I mean? And I think in that regard, it's it's in the isolation and the everybody we're all in this together but we're completely not in this together kind of thing like all that it obviously bleeds into it because we were alive then you know mm. like that's when we made this record I think all the records are a little bit of a stamp of the time totally. and what you're going through and but at, in, at this case like a lot of things that are a lot of these thoughts and things that are being birthed obviously in the era of this pandemic um, just happens to be everyone's going through it you know what I mean so it's sort of our Oh, what we kind of went through and and um, it was very important to me that it didn't sound like a record that we just had time to make mm. which I was I don't think anybody would have thought that but it, in my head I thought I just was like I don't want it to feel like we just had time and so we sh you know shit out this record <laughs> <laughs> what did you watch make this record mm, no, no, just I, I, yeah. nothing else to do <laughs> yeah. it had to feel like a ha it had to feel intentional and it had to feel like it had a lot of weight to it and therefore we we really when we do this normally but in this one in particular we we really wanted to per, the, the person that is is into listening to an album from beginning to end wanted it to feel like it was a really thought out complete piece with motifs going in throughout and these little shanties blending in and out and like you can listen to a song take it out do whatever you want that's cool but we make the records for people to listen to it like that mm -hmm. and so we wanted this one to feel like real like ha having a lot of purpose and a lot of gravity and, and hopefully that's what came out yeah I think so yeah um <laughs> So I also read on this Wikipedia that may or may not be incorrect um, that this is the first the the song you put out alone on a hill. Oh, perfect. This, this perfect. Perfect. Yes. This is perfect. Okay, because this is what I was gonna ask. Uh, is the the first single you've had out that has you Nikki as lead vocals and solo vocals, right? That's what, at least what it said. Um, is so what felt like about this song yeah, like it had to vocals. be that way? Yeah. Yeah, because you're in it. Yeah, I'm in the other one. Right. Circadian. <laughs> right. Um, well, I know that, uh, that, that Brian and the guys have always been really supportive of me singing songs, even when I shy away from them. So this <laughs> seemed like a good match for me. And um, Butch also was really supportive. <laughs> I need a lot she of support. Lot of support. <laughs> That's like so I'm grateful how it turned out. <laughs> that's how I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. We so didn't know we were being so supportive. I'm grateful I'm in a supportive band. Right, right. Um, yeah, here we are. Be funny so in a band. Yeah, like really a really very unsupportive out. band, just like constantly like, <laughs> <laughs> make sure you, they suck at this. Yeah, luckily you're not. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. You're not alone as on a hill yeah. as it were. You know? Yeah, nobody yeah. sabotaged <laughs> right. the production. Yeah. <laughs> Great, Nikki. Yeah, yeah. Let's destroy the tapes. <laughs> um, Thanks, with the guys. song, yeah. <laughs> with the song, scared together. Um, a lot of whoa. Oh, no, see okay. what you did. Now, see, it's closest to you, but it's also on the floor. It's on the floor. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Scared together. With scared together, uh, yeah. the song is pretty much driven by like that kind of like 
wah wah kind of sound that on the um, now see that was that feels like it was cheating because you haven't answered the question. Have you not been watching this? <laughs> yeah, it's not totally objective. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but in the video for Scared Together, it's depicted as like a vocal sample that you do where you're like doing the wah wah oh, thing. That, yeah. Is that actually what it was? On the no, it, it's a talk box. Sure. It's essentially okay. like it. Brian has a there's a guitar track that's a baritone guitar mm -hmm. and it's running th it runs through this box that literally feeds the sound through a tube into your mouth and then as you open your mouth it plays back through it's through awesome. a, through a wow. microphone yeah like Bon Jovi a whoa whoa yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Wow, wow, wow. just like Bon Jovi so essentially, yeah. just like Bon Jovi it essentially like turns your mouth into a speaker that's cool um, yeah it's and right. so. Yeah, it Brian, funny, Brian recorded time, on the record. <laughs> the first time we played it, one of the first times we played it, you, you, the first time you used the talk box, oh, yeah. something was wrong with it. So it was just, when we heard it, it was just like, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I was like, oh, this, that doesn't work. <laughs> and then it was like, no, the thing didn't, the thing wasn't turned on properly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just wow, wow. Yeah, right, well, that know, kind of felt like it was what drove the rest of it, too. Was that the first thing you came up with for that song? I mean, that was, that was, Brian had it in his head from yeah. day one on that song that he wanted to use the talk box. I wanted that thing back in the world. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it was very exciting to use it, and, and it was so much fun to use. I didn't know, I, I guess in my head, you, Peter Frampton and all these people, Daft Punk must use it too for like keyboard samples and stuff. Yeah, I'm sure they have. Um, I thought, like, I thought Rich Sambor was up there going like, wow, 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 like making the sound? Right. But uh, you're not making anything. You literally yeah, just you know, like opening, closing it's your just mouth, like, and that's what does that. That's it, it makes the it music like is flange. coming out of your yeah. mouth. Yeah, it's and really you just strange. move your mouth shape. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's really addicting. <laughs> and I was like, "But you gotta blast all of our songs into my mouth." Yeah, he's so excited <laughs> and about it. Yeah, yeah. kind of like shake a little bit. I'm like, I gotta stop. It's the next yeah. like evolution. Just mm -hmm. your next album is all songs based on the talk box. That's what you wish for, my yeah. friend. Right, right. <laughs> you already here first. You already here first. Exclusive. Yeah. The talk box EP. The Everything the talk, talk box. box EP. The drums, <laughs> cymbals. <laughs> Of all of it, yeah. <laughs> the vocals, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the the videos uh, for this, ooh, watch out. Um, the videos for a lot of the songs on this album uh, are, I feel like, trying to evoke a certain sense. That was just that was blatant. Uh, that was obvious. Christmas, Christmas, <laughs> Christmas, 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 Christmas. Where they seem to be meant to evoke a certain sort of uh, sense of like childhood nostalgia. A lot mm. of the videos for this one were filmed, cool, yeah. you know, on kind of old like film cameras and mm -hmm. showed you know, kids going about their lives or showed, uh, I believe in, in one of the videos, it was a, a childhood home, but you were in the room. Oh. Yeah. No, was that it, was my, my home. That was your home. <laughs> my home. My children's room. My children's room. Heard it here yes. first. <laughs> so, so. Oh, yeah, Alone on Hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There's so many home. videos in it because we let all of our... We did a lot of videos, yeah. We're just yeah. like, we wanted it to be... We're gonna make a video for every song, and mm -hmm. we want because there's just a lot of like people that we've known for a long time, and um, just a lot of amazing artists out there, and we want to be the uh, the thing that can get something done for them. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah. That they so can just, showcase their mm -hmm. art. Yeah. So we have a couple of videos, like main videos that we have, and then we've been people have just been going for it with with um, the songs. We just said, here, take it, take it, take it, take mm -hmm. it, and. Um, yeah, the the hereafter one, the skate camp. The, yeah, uh, the booze yeah. crews are from LA. They're LGBTQ plus um, skate skate um, collective mm -hmm. in LA, and we just said we make it look nineties. Nice. And go for it, and they just went around, and I love it. It's just yeah. so crazy, shaky my brain. Yeah, <laughs> my brain couldn't take, but it's like pretty awesome. We have another one coming out soon. Oh, and so. one called Hidden Moon and that our. our our friend Sinan did, which showcases a lot of his artwork, which is awesome. Yeah. So we're going to collect all these. When we have more down the line, and we're going to collect them all and just make a thing called physical copy. And so <laughs> nice. it's just going to be a VHS tape that will only sell at shows. And That's cool. It's just, we yeah. wanted like a totem that was a little difficult. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> difficult for people to access. <laughs> I, know, yeah. I just wanted it to be like a found object that you needed to kind of work out. Sure. Bit. Yeah. And you can only get it at our shows. Nice. Nice. So hopefully it will be done soon. 
Yeah. Hopefully it will be at our shows at some point. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it won't. We're super, we're super excited about no, it. No, it will. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, cool. Um, so do you, when you're at these shows on this current tour, do you feel like a noticeable difference within like the way the crowd is reacting to the new stuff oh, wow. versus how this they were? This time for sure. Yeah? I mean, we're, we're lucky because... We swim in a lot of wa- waters. Like, we, our band somehow gets invited to different things in a weird way. Like, we're kind of all over the place. As far like sometimes we're on the radio. Sometimes mm-hmm. we're like really indie. And and um, usually the people that come to the shows, most of them have been diving into our, all of our music. You know, you get a lot of people there too that's just like interested in the, the songs that they've heard on the radio or something like that but and that's cool too but a majority of the crowds that come to our shows have been listening to us for a while and have, and have um, uh, want to hear things new things because they probably have seen these shows before and that's what's going to make it newer but this tour in particular this record in particular just feels and I don't know if it's just us from the ground the boots on the ground level, but it just feels like intense. It's, people, yeah. really, people really have wrapped their head around this record intensely. Wow. And um, it's wild, you yeah. know? And it's, it's really nice. nice seeing them integrated with the old songs. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they flow really well. They flow really well. They yeah. do. Yeah. Like already, you know, yeah. like we've only been playing these new songs for a Ooh. few weeks now. And, and, uh, um, and it feels like uh, once once we once we uh, kind of got used to the new songs and and got better <laughs> at them. In the beginning, they were kind of rough, but once we got past that hurdle, it just felt like it it was always there in the set. Sure, like yeah. it doesn't feel like this is a new song now. Yeah, it's like yeah. oh, hereafter. Yeah, okay. Yeah, with each record, you get to, you get. Your live show just gets a little more vast, like dynamic, almost like your audience does. You know, we've been now playing for twenty years, and so you get to see your audience, like, just get the the, the dynamic of ages and stuff just gets so much wider. Mm. You know, and then your show kind of gets a lot more dynamic because of all the eras of things. You know, mm. so adding all these songs into the set and going to the old songs, it just like makes the old songs stand so much stronger, and the new ones stand. You know, it works so well together in a live show. Yeah, totally. You know, it, you just get to it go in all these areas, and, and I, I, I'm always hoping that each record just broadens it a little more. You yeah. know, totally, cool. totally. Well, then looking back on uh, on your whole career, what do you think right now is the most? <laughs> oh, this was meant to be sort of a question for all of you. Right. Equally, well, the knife's gonna hit us all. I guess so. <laughs> I um, got the knife. <laughs> But, uh, oh, okay, so it's going to be you uh, behind the camera. Yeah. <laughs> During this whole interview, what was your favorite yeah. part? What's your favorite part? Oh, jeez. No, okay. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. You no think pressure. about that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 part about about the, the part about your cat. The part about your cat. That's a good one. Yeah, because if it has to do with me, it's going to be my <laughs> least, favorite, least favorite part of your interview is by far him saying that all. Yes, that's true. Just like you and John. Exactly, exactly. I'm, I'm leaning more towards world. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so, looking back on your career, then, what is do you think is the thing, the part, the song that you're the most proud of? No. Oh. Mm. So many songs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm the most proud of that. When we walk away from making a record, we feel good about it. Mm. <laughs> and we f- we don't haven't yet uh, uh, hopefully won't hope not. Cuz I, I feel like the biggest drag would be to make a record and then after a little while really feel you know, we weren't really trying. Mm. Right. And I, we could have done better. Like that seems terrible. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. Totally. We, it, it, We've it, never thought that. But we yeah. have a <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're all, we always sort of feel like I don't know what's gonna happen. We're so lucky that we've been able to play this long and play all these shows for so long, and, and we are very aware of how lucky we are, and so we don't we don't really know how 
It all goes, you know? We always come, like, in our heads we go, this could be our last show in New York. Maybe, you know, I don't know. Um, and so we don't think about what any of it, what, what, what's going to mean in the world, how the record is going to do, and this and that, charts and graphs, or blah, blah, blah. We just go, we know we really gave it our all, and we were proud of it, you know? And so that, to me, is what I'm happy about, that each, each one we feel like we walked away from pretty exhausted. Mm. Um, Cause we're like I said, it would be a bummer if we didn't. Sure. When we're, we're making it, it's very insular. We're not thinking of like any outside information. So no. it's just like we just make what How we're, do you even we're like proud that, of yeah. and what we're happy with producing. It's so bands, like bands checking their name on the internet. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want any more information though? It's already like in your brain. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, you know, but like yeah. you can't think about what it means. You know, you can just try and make this thing. Totally. Yeah. yeah. So, well then, uh, my, okay. My last real question. Do you need is, her face? You have some fake questions. <laughs> 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 just, do you need her you face again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect. You were very, like, dialed in. Um, no, I, I, I have a job. Yeah. Um, but, uh, my last real question, this is kind of, like, deep and philosophical. And oh! An answer. Um, so, the question is, is it still the same old decent lazy eye? Mm. <laughs> Your opinion. Yeah, more so. More so, you think more so? so. Yeah. Same, but definitely the same old. I don't get bothered as much when people, when I look at people until they go. <laughs> <laughs> I just go. It's the same eye. <laughs> right, right. It's the same one. I honestly never remember which one it is. When you're tired sometimes. Oh, man, tell. yeah. Or if I'm talking to someone in a star or something like that, I can tell. Because, like, again, like they go. <laughs> <laughs> so I think um, yeah it's more decent and mm. but still the same it, sure. used to, it used to make it hard for me to look people in the eyes because and I'm, I am honestly the kind of person that really would look people in the eyes you know what I mean but it makes it hard it made it hard for a while because I could f not sure if I was they're seeing me look at them in the eyes because sometimes they weren't because mm. their eye would mm -hmm. twist and so that would Cause me problems looking people in the eyes. So I talk to people like this and stuff. And now I just go, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you like, I said, if you look behind you, I go. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Good. Nice. Um, last thing. Uh, could, would you guys be able to do like a little station ID for yeah, us? Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're big fans. Oh, oh really? Yeah, you're awesome. Podcast. Oh. Incredible. Um, we okay. So we're WMYU eighty nine point one FM. Who are you? Wait, you, you, are you guys running? It? Who are podcasts are you guys running? It? Well, which podcast? Yeah. Uh, the NYU. Why do you think it's We're the NYU station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't listen to our shows. Right, right. Only yeah. ours. So, <laughs> wait, so um, how is that going at WNYU? Is it's everything cool. cool? Are they not keeping you good? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's hit or miss. Cause the problem's just so yeah. there. I didn't know you could do that. I know, yeah, yeah. Weren't they, was it that the one where they came in and just like kicked them out as soon as so. they made the sale? Yeah, yeah. I heard about they that, yeah. They were there for quite a while. They like changed well, the locks. They don't know that we're in the basement. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. That's actually happened. kind of accurate, yeah. <laughs> I don't tell anybody. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, wait, we can't air this. <laughs> how, far, how far does the reach go? It goes pretty far into the Tri-State area. Uh, Great. Yeah, big That's parts amazing. of Jersey. There's parts of even, I think, awesome. Pennsylvania, Connecticut that it goes into. That's awesome. Like, pretty much all of New York State. Oh, my God. Yeah, Just which is nice. Keep it up. Seriously, know, it's yeah. so important. We're very lucky. We've yeah. managed to keep that, like, license. Oh, yeah, to me, <laughs> like you said, stay in the basement. And, and then yeah. while you goes, wait, do we have a station? No, no, no. No, no a what? No, no, no. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Didn't they close those down? Yeah, yeah. Take all, take all the signs um, down. Right, yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I'm so glad. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's good. I mean, our budget hasn't been great recently, but, you know, this, this happens. This happens. Um, too busy buying buildings. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but we're still able to do what we like to do. Good, that's great. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. But, uh, okay, so, we're 89.1 FM, WMYU. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just something we're silver some pickups. Hi! Hello! Hello! We're silver some pickups, and you're listening to... WNYU. 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 Radio Lab. 89.9. Point what? 89.1. 89.1. 89.9 minus. 8. Nice. 
89. 89. These NYU listeners, they know how to do that. They know what we're talking about. You're, 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 <laughs> you're listening to WNYU. 89. Point one. Tell your friends, but don't tell NYU. <laughs> it's our secret. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.